for the last two years, I've had a pretty strong opinion on Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers, and I've held it in for a while. I haven't made a video on the Blazers in so long, and now is now's the time. Now is the time for me to go off. Now is the time for me to rant. Um, it's not it's not an overreaction because I've thought this for the last um, 365 times too. I tried to be smart. I don't know. Uh, two years. Damian Lillard is ruining the Portland Trailblazers, and I don't mean ruins because obviously Damian Lillard is the greatest Portland Trailblazer of all time. Seeing as they have you know no championships, Damian Lillard has got them the closest with the Western Conference Finals. You know he's probably going to end as their all-time leading scorer if he's not already. I don't really know. Um, just he, he's the best player to ever play there. I mean, you, you could debate Clyde Drexler, but no, it's it's Damian Lillard. He he's 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 the greatest. His fans love him. You know they pack out arenas every night. I don't know what their attendance actually is, but I guarantee it's really high because of Damian Lillard, and that's why he's still on the team. I mean, and listen, I love lo player loyalty. Okay. I don't think it's always, you know, necessary. Like, when players leave, like, with Kyrie and the Nets, like, that was just kind of a mutual thing that neither really, like, it was it was a good, I think it was a good ending. I don't think it ended on bad terms, and no one was really at fault. That's just kind of how it worked out. You know, I could I could see the Nets side of, you know, not wanting to pay Kyrie, and I could see Kyrie's side of wanting to get paid. But loyalty, it, it's not always necessary. You know what I mean? And I, I don't blame, if Damian Lillard, because, you know, I, I, I kind of listened in on the, his stories about how, you know, he went to Weber State and he wanted to commit to them and his father taught him loyalty. And that is great. Don't get me wrong. But there's been another player who was loyal to their to their uh, team and decided, you know what, I'm not going to ask out of the team. But if they want to trade me, they can trade me. If they want to, you know, actually advance um, their franchise because it seems like they're going nowhere, they can. And his fans and the fans of that team still love him to death. And that is Russell Westbrook with the Thunder. The, the, Russell Westbrook did not ask for a trade, but he did not demand he, he did not want to be traded. And that's a loyal man right there. And the Thunder saw that they had nothing going, so they traded him, traded Paul George, get, got a ton of assets, Rockets picks, Clippers picks, Shea Gilders Alexander, and now they're doing great. And Russell Westbrook, I mean, for the first couple of years, you know, Houston, Washington, he was doing amazing. And, you know, Damian Lillard has pointed out that you know, players sometimes will leave teams and then all of a sudden now they're lost and they're not doing as well because no team's really fully committed to him. But this Portland Trailblazers team is going nowhere. And the only thing holding them back from going on a full-blown rebuild and, and gaining a culture is Lillard leaving. I, I think Lillard should do the exact same thing that Russ did. Just say, hey, I don't want to leave, but if you guys want to trade me, then you can trade me. You know, like, and say, say that secretly. Don't say it to the media. Or maybe he has already said it. But say it to the say it to the team. Don't say it to the media. And when they trade him, he didn't want to be traded. Boom. That, that that's a good narrative for Dame. You know he's still loyal. But at the same time, oh, uh, Portland Trailblazers they want to develop their team. And I said no culture because the Portland Trailblazers don't have a culture. You and you can't say it's Dame and his like loyalty thing. The Portland Trailblazers is not a loyal team. They've changed their team up every year. The only loyal one is Dame and pro I guess like Anthony Simons. I mean like what three years ago they had uh. They used to have CJ and like Lamarcus, and then they changed it up and they wanted uh you know last year they traded CJ and this year they bring in Jeremy Grant and next year they're gonna make some other change because obviously a 13 seed isn't working probably not making the fans happy I'm not a fan maybe maybe the casual Portland Trailblazers fans that just go to games with their families maybe they're happy just seeing you know Damian Lillard and no one really else and they're just having fun but diehard Trailblazers fans I I know you like I I know what it's like to be part of a mid team. I mean, peaking at Eastern Conference Finals, but never really getting over the hump, never getting free agents. That's exactly like my Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I know what it's like. And I know, like, okay, it's a it's a, it's a a fun team, but at the same time, we want some development. Shaden Sharp is, like, almost never getting starts. I, I'm not even sure if he started that many games, maybe, like, five maximum. He's not getting the growth he needs. Anthony Simons, in my opinion, and you can call me crazy, but, like, Anthony Simons has Dame potential. I feel like, because, yeah, Damian Lillard, what? he played all four years in college. So when he came into the league, he was pretty old. Anthony Simons right now and Dame coming out of college might be the same age. I, I Obviously, I'm just saying that. I might have to fact check it. But he has all that potential in the world. But if he's playing next to Dame, he's just not going to get it. And I understand the whole veteran leadership. I, I see a lot of old heads or even not even old, just old heads. It actually is. It's pretty good advice saying, you know, maybe a team needs to sign Carmelo or sign an older vet guy to teach them through the ways. But Damian Lillard's just getting paid way too much and demands the ball way too much for that. I'm sorry. Like, you could get a different vet to teach Anthony Simons and Shane Sharp all that, but 
if Damian Lillard wants to, you know, be the star to average 33, 34 and entertain the fans, but at the same time, stunt the growth of the rest of the players. I just, I, I don't see, I don't see that working. Okay. And right now, all I see the Portland Trailblazers is doing is stalling. They are just stalling right now. They are just, okay. Like they're waiting, they're waiting Damian Lillard out. I feel like in the back of their minds, they're like, okay, the second that he leaves, we are going to rebuild. And it's just, it's just terrible for the franchise and the organization. And honestly, Dame himself, Dame's wasting his time there, but because he's so loyal, like we know you're, and I don't mean, it, it, I don't mean it in any kind of disrespectful way. It's just that like your loyalty's run through, like it's run through his course. Like you've done everything for the franchise, but the fr both parties would be better if they just split up. Unless for some reason, Damian Lillard believed that he would just not get the ball as much or not be as good in any other franchise. And in that case, I don't, that's just, that's just his fault. <laughs> let, let, let's just be realistic. I mean, he should be able to fit with a guy. I'm not saying the Bucks would get him because they don't have the assets, but a guy like Giannis, Jokic, like another, another superstar or just another star in general. Now, what team he would go to, I'm not too sure because honestly, all the teams that need a point guard um, to start contending, they kind of don't have that many assets like the Bucks, like the Clippers, like the, the Lakers, like all those kind of teams. But I feel like if it's Damian Lillard on the table, you can, like, if it's a team like, I'm trying to think of like a mid point guard. Halberton? No, not Halberton. But like, obviously, because that team doesn't have enough assets. But I, I can, maybe, maybe the Miami Heat. You get rid of Harrow, you get rid of Jovic, a bunch of picks if you can. Then again, you gave up picks, I think, for the Kyle Lowry trade. I don't know, but just, I want to see him gone. And you could call it hating, but I do not want to see the Trailblazers win the lottery. I don't want to see this type of behavior get rewarded where they're keeping Dame. And then now let's say they get Victor. And then all of a sudden, like, they're still going to be, like, they're going to be committed now. Like, now that Dame is Victor, they're going to be committed to just wanting them to win. But then Victor's young. And then it's just they also don't have enough assets assets around them. Um, they're not going to get any free agents. And it's just, I, I want them to learn their lesson. I want them to just completely restart. You could trade Dame for so many assets alongside Anthony, alongside Shane and Sharp alongside Nasir Little, and you can just build a core there, whoever they get in, you know, this year's draft. I, I want to see them thrive. I just think that next year, there's not going to be that many teams that really want to lose. So next year is really your opportunity. Like, the Magic are going to, are going to want to win some more games. The Rockets right now, like, next year, I think the Thunder started the rebuild one year before the Rockets. So now the Rockets are going to be at that point where they want to make a play-in play push like the Thunder did, uh, did this year. Um... The Pistons will have Cade back and another piece. They're going to want to be better. There's not going to be that many bad teams unless, like, some team like the Clippers blow it up. Just, like, it, now is your best chance to be the worst team in the league next year. And you can get, I don't even know who's in that draft class, but he's he's going to change your franchise, I hope, as long as your scouts do their job. Um, that's really all I wanted to say, you know. See, so yeah, I'm going to start, like, an actual, like, podcast in the next coming week. I'm going to have a brand. I just haven't thought of anything yet. But, like, I really want to make it in this, you know, community in the NBA. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, peace.